So in this video, I'm gonna share how you can remember more of your dreams. Don't click away. I know some of you click away in the first 10 seconds. Okay, here's what you do. You need to keep a dream journal by your bed. And this is really important because most of you, if you're watching this, you probably are not doing this regularly and you're not doing it in the right way. Keep a dream journal by your bed, keep a pen or a pencil, you know, exactly where it should be ready to pick up. And ideally find some kind of soft light material, some kind of like soft light. This is really gonna help you remember your dreams, honestly. So something that's not gonna wake you up too much, like a phone flashlight or a torch or a light, but something that's gonna just be enough light that you can actually see what you're writing. So you need to get that, make sure it's by your bed. And basically you need to, in the daytime, practice doing this even when you're awake. And this is really key, for, especially for beginners, and especially if you're not remembering more than a page or so worth of writing of your dreams per night. So during the day, set your alarm on your phone to go off every kind of five minutes, 10 minutes or so, lay down, get really comfortable, as if, pretend as if you've just woken up or you're sleeping. And when the alarm goes off, pretend that that is you waking up in the morning, ready to write your dreams down and just get the repetitions in. Just do it kind of like 20 or 30 times to practice the movement of, okay, I'm awake now. First thing I will do is I will go to my journal and I'll write my dreams down. So just that, literally just practicing the repetitions of getting out of a comfortable state, sleeping in your bed, and then going to your dream journal and writing them down, just doing that is gonna massively make it so much easier for you than compared to if you just only do it in the morning when you're tired and when, you know, you're gonna struggle if you do that. Okay, the next thing, and this is if you have not been able to remember your dreams regularly, like every single morning, you need to basically interrupt your pattern. You need to set an alarm to go off every 10 to 30 minutes all throughout the night. And this is gonna basically make you feel very tired the next day, but I promise you one thing, you'll be, in fact, I promise you two things. You'll be very tired the next day, but you will also remember five or 10 dreams at the minimum. And they'll be very vivid, and at least two of them will probably be lucid. And this is kind of stemming from my 90 aisled technique, which you can check my channel if you haven't already seen that. But the way it works is that you're basically cutting up your REM sleep. So you're almost guaranteeing that one of those alarms is gonna wake, more than one of them, is gonna definitely wake you up in the middle of your REM sleep. So when you're, li literally when you're dreaming. And by waking yourself up in the middle of your REM sleep so many times, you are guaranteed basically to remember your dreams. You know, it's almost impossible that you won't, unless, I don't know, something weird happens. You can also use mnemonic devices or mnemonic techniques to remember your dreams. You can start kind of brainwashing yourself programming yourself to know or to believe that you can remember your dreams. And this is more to do with the software kind of side of this. Like the, loose, the dream journaling and the alarm is the hardware, the physical things. This is more to do with the software. So start telling yourself, I can remember my dreams. Make your password on your laptop or your phone. Make it something like, I remember my dreams, and then a random number. And just get the repetitions of the affirmation in. Just keep constantly repeating it to yourself, brainwashing yourself to know that you can remember your dreams. And then let's go back to the point, right? Because you know, I'm sure you know I've already missed a point. A mnemonic device is something where you attach a meaning to an object. So you could, let's say if you have a particular thing in your bedroom, like for example, I have this plant here. I don't know if you can see in the corner there. So what I would do is I would say, every time I look at that plant, I can remember my dreams. And I would constantly repeat this to yourself, like again and again and again, okay? Oh, and an inter interesting thing as well is if you actually physically type out an affirmation, it makes it more likely to be true. It makes you more likely to believe it. So as you're reading this, or as you're <laughs> not reading, listening to this, scroll down and leave a comment saying, I can remember my dreams, just to affirm it. Obviously say it in your own words, you know, don't copy exactly what I said, but just write a comment now, confirming what you believe or what you want to believe to be true. Okay, so going back to the mnemonic thing, you tell yourself, every time I look at this plant, I will remember my dreams, okay? And what, what starts to happen is after a few days, maybe one or two weeks of doing that, you will suddenly look at the plant when you wake up and genuinely be able to remember more dreams. And what's happened is you've linked this idea in your mind. You've linked this um, intention of wanting to remember more dreams with looking at the actual object. And I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds, you know, like, woo woo or how how on earth does that work but it does work i don't know how it works well i do know how it works but it's not relevant how it works but it does and especially if you're a beginner and you're struggling having a mnemonic device like something in your room that you you can use as kind of like a dream anchor is really going to make a difference for you the most powerful thing is that and i haven't said this before is you need to 
practice dream recall techniques before you actually go to bed. So most of you, what you do is you'll go to bed, have dreams like we all do, and you'll wake up and you won't be able to remember them. And so you'll wake up and think, oh, what was that dream? What was I, where was I just two seconds ago? What was I, I need to write something down in my journal. And you won't, you can't remember anything. What the pros among us do is they actually try and remember their dreams before they've even had them. With, so before you go to sleep, as you're laying down in bed, that is a time, one of the best times, to remember your dreams from the previous day. And I know this sounds a bit kind of backwards because you're thinking, well, you know, I'm just about to go to bed. Why would, I, why would that be the best time to remember the previous night's dreams? And I'll tell you. Because when you physically, our, our, our memories don't just work uh, on like a single track. You know, our memories, I'll tell you how our memories work. We encode memories much more strongly when we involve multiple senses. And I'm sure you've heard this before, this idea that if you're a visual learner, you will um, obviously learn better when you see things visually. But if, you, but if you're a visual learner, you will learn things better if you learn them visually, plus you also learn them in an auditory form, or you also write them down, or you also at the same time have a certain smell or something like that going on. The more senses you involve, the stronger the memory. And I'm sure you know this from your strongest memories in your life, right? When you really think about your most vivid memories, especially from your childhood or things like things that happened, you will find that it's the strongest memories that you really remember are the ones that involve multiple senses and multiple emotions, especially things like trauma, anything scary, exciting, or, you know, unusual or emotional. Those things are what you remember. And most of you will be able to remember those in incredible detail. So that is how you can apply this to lucid dreams. The way you do it is you try and involve as many senses and emotions as you can. When you recall the dream, you try and really think about what emotion was I feeling? What senses were, were engaged? You know, was I, don't just think, amateur level is like, what was I doing? Uh, pro level is more like, what was I feeling? What was the setting, the mood? What were the other dream characters feeling or saying? Uh, you know, what was the temperature like in the dream? When you ask these questions, you engage different senses. And trust me, if you've not, if not, if you've not tried this before, it's going to double your dream recall almost instantly. But if you're struggling, I have a dream recall guide. It's like a blueprint. I think I mentioned this a few times. I very rarely talk about this, but it will literally guide you step by step through how to actually remember more dreams in as little as a few days, you know, usually overnight. Uh, or within one to three days. This will massively be a game changer for you. Uh, so the link to that is in the description. So I hope you enjoy that and leave a comment letting me know what you are really struggling with. You know, is it dream recall or, or is this just not even a problem for you? So if it's not a problem, let me know why, firstly, why you watched this whole video, <laughs> if you can already remember your dreams, uh, but also leaving me, leave a comment saying how you actually do that. Do you use any specific techniques, methods, you know, maybe you can help the other people out. And I'll see you next time.